Welcome to the homework for lesson 13. This is module 8 of second grade. Get your name on there first. And the moment you've all been waiting for, we're telling time. And you can see how things have been coming together recently to get us to this point. Because we're looking at fractions of a clock face. So we've got a circle. We've been, we were working on shapes earlier and talking about how to describe shapes. And now we, and then we were into fractions and making halves and fourths and thirds. And now we've got, and shading in some parts. And now that, now we're using it to tell time. So clock faces, we're talking about round clock faces. What fraction of each clock is shaded in the space below using the words quarter, quarters, half, or halves? Now a quarter is, one fourth. So uh, another way, it's just another way, it's like a nickname for fourths. So what's shaded in here? It's one quarter. So one quarter. Please keep writing it in uh, unit form like this. It actually matters not to just write a fraction, like regular fraction notation for this, uh, for one fourth, because we want to use the word quarter. It matters because we want to practice reading it and writing it so that we can recognize it and we know how to spell it. So this practice, it matters for this. So this looks like half, so that's one half. Now these are words that are not spelled the way they sound, so there's no other way to get this practice in, so it matters. And this is three quarters shaded in, so it's three quarters. Spelling is right up here for you, all those words, just like a word bank. And now here is the whole thing. We could either say two halves or four quarters. I'm going to say two halves. Write the time shown on each clock. We're going to read the analog clock faces and write it down to make it look like a digital clock. So we can see here the hour hand is the shorthand, and the memory key that works for a lot of people on these clocks is that the word hour is short, and the word minute is longer. So the shorter hand, the shorter clock hand, is the hour hand, and the longer one is the minute, even though an hour is a longer amount of time. That's confusing, but you see here that the hour hand is in between, so when we, we're looking at this, this colon, hours go here, and minutes go here. It goes hours first, then minutes, working from left to right. So keeping that straight, what hour is it? Well, it's in between the 6 and the 7, and... We don't, uh, if we were measuring in inches, we would say, well, it's in between. Do I call it six or do I call it seven? We never round up for time. Always down. Because it's in between six and seven. That means it's after six o'clock, but it isn't seven yet. So it's in the middle. So it's six o'clock plus some minutes. And we're looking at five, ten, each big number the big numbers here tell you the hour on the clock and the uh, each little mark here is one minute so every big number you see to figure out minutes it's 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 so it's 645 and you'll get to know these um, these quarter marks here really well right because this straight up is double zero for time and when the minute hands on the three you're looking at 15 minutes when it's down here on the six it's 30 and when it's over here on the nine it's going to be 45 minutes so you get to know those numbers really well because we're going to practice them a lot 
So this is in between the hour hand first, that's in between the 1 and the 12. So it's after 12 o'clock, but it's not 1 o'clock yet. And it's the minute hand is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Here the hour hand is in between the 10 and the 11, so it's after 10, but it's not 11 yet, so it's 10 and how many minutes? Well, there's that 45 mark. Let's see if it works. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, it's 10, 45. And now here we're looking for our hour hand first. That's the short hand because it's the shorter word. In between the 9 and the 10, so that means it's after nine o'clock but it isn't ten o'clock yet so it's still nine something how many minutes after nine is it one it's five right because there's five little marks here between each, four little marks in between each number so there's five minutes that's five minutes ten minutes fifteen minutes after nine o'clock match each time to the correct clock by drawing a line quarter to five is we're looking what we're looking for is think about that clock face now if it was five o'clock we'd have the minute hand would be going here that's the first quarter then that's the second quarter so that may be half past this this one here would be quarter past that's half past but now this is going to say quarter to five means it's not five yet it's still four but it's only one quarter left until. So that means the minute hand has gone here and there and there, but it hasn't gone all the way around yet. So it's going to be here. So we want this one. It's not five yet. It's almost five. And it's a quarter of the clock face before you get to five. Half past five is going to have the hour hand on the five. And the minute hand at 30 minutes. So let me zoom out a little bit so we can see this. Half past five is going to be that one. Because here it is. Half the hour hand is halfway in between. And there's the half. The minute hand shows you 30 minutes, which is half of the clock face. Half past. 515. One of my favorite times. And we want 15 minutes after, right? So that's 5, 10, 15. There's our minute hand at 15 minutes after. And our hour hand is in between the 5 and the 6. So it's the hour is 5. And the hour is 5. And the minutes are 15, just like that. Quarter after 5. So think about what this clock face would look like before you start lining matching it up and some of these are used more than once because there's more than one way to say what these times are so quarter after five is going to be a little bit after the five for the hour hand and quarter after is one quarter of the clock face so that's this quarter here the minute hand is going to be right about there so which of those clocks look like that that's the same as the 515 that one there and then 445 is going to show, think about it, the 45 is like the minute hand is pointing over here for 45 minutes. So we need the minute hand over there and the, the hour hand is going to be in between the 4 and the 5. So we're going to be kind of right about there. The 4 is there and the 5 is there. And it's going to be closer to the 5 than the 4. Well, which one of these three looks like that? It's this one, which we also called quarter to 5. Draw the minute hand on the clock to show the correct time. So this is 3.30. We already have the 3 shown, because that's this hour hand here. Now we need 30 minutes. So just think, starting from here, count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. This is 30 minutes, so it's going to go right down there. And this one, 45, you might already know it. But if you don't, you can count by 5, starting there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45. If you're counting by fives to get your way around the clock face, in those minute hands, make sure they go all the way to where the numbers are so they touch the numbers, and that way you can tell it's longer than the hour hand. 
you'll notice that that's the difference on a clock face that the hour hand usually won't touch the numbers and that's how you can tell it's shorter and the minute hand is longer and it will touch the numbers or almost touch the numbers sometimes they're even long enough to cover up the numbers when they get to them but that's how you can tell it's the longer hand sometimes it can be difficult to tell depending on where they are on the clock if they're not if they're not next to each other it's hard to get a comparison and tell which one's longer but that's the best way i think to tell um, so there we did 1145, 615, we know it's after six. So here it is. It's between the six and the seven for the hour hand, 15 minutes. And take your time when you're counting by fives to go on the clock face, because it's really easy to just rush it and skip numbers when you're counting by fives. Once you get after 20, sometimes it's really easy to accidentally skip, skip a number or two, and then you end up showing the wrong time or reading the wrong time. So here we go. 5, 10, 15. That's not so bad. So that means start. And then what I like to do for drawing clock hands, since this is a long one, I'm going to start and go into the middle. So I'm going to start here at the 3, because it's going to be a minute hand. It's going to touch the number and go into the center like that. 